Hello everyone. In this last lesson of intimacy, we are going to learn about the third foundational truth for the pursuit of God. In the previous two episodes, we have learned two foundational truths for the pursuit of God. First, how to start a relationship with God. We learned in the first episode of intimacy that we start a relationship with God not by doing ritualistic work or doing good works, but we start a relationship with God by trusting Jesus. And then the second foundational truth we learn about how to live as a Christian. And we learn biblically that we live to honor God. Yes, we live to honor God. And now in this third foundational truth for the pursuit of God, we're going to learn about how to grow in our faith. And the third foundational truth for the pursuit of God is we grow by helping others. You know, lots of people think or been taught that growth is all about being a smartest person in a block or in a church. You know, but that is not really what Jesus so much cares about. Hope you remember in the first lesson we learned that a group of Pharisees, they came, a religious leader get came to Jesus and said, which of all the laws is the greatest law? Remember, Jesus said, first, love God, and then second, he said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. See, what Jesus was saying is that relationship is the most important. Yeah, relationship is the most important. See, as we grow in Christ, we start loving God more. And as an outpouring of that, we also love people more. So we, we can also see in Mark chapter 9 verse 35 what Jesus said to his disciples. Let me read from my Bible. Mark chapter 9 verse 35. He said, If anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. Here, Jesus was flipping the whole concept of the greatness. He was saying that if you really want to be a great, if you really want to be a first, then you need to become a servant of all. You know, it's not really about how much talented and uh, smart you are, but it is all about how much you can love other people. Yes, that is what maturity and growth is all about. So that means we grow in our faith by serving other people. Yes, by serving other people. See, this is what even Jesus himself did before going to the cross. If we read in John chapter 13, we see Jesus doing very strange thing. Yes, very strange thing. He took a servant towel, greeted himself, and then he washed all of his disciples' feet. You know, in those times, this job is a, a job of a lowest servant in a household. But Jesus did it to prove a point to teach his disciples. You know, let me read from John chapter 13 verse 12 onward what Jesus said to his disciples after doing or after washing their feet. You know, he said, do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them, you call me teacher and Lord and rightly so for that is what I am. Now that I your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Here Jesus was teaching about the greatness, about the maturity to his disciples. You know, he was basically saying that if you really want to become great in your faith, if you really want to grow in your faith, then you must wash other people's feet. That means you must serve other people because greatest ones are the ones serving other people. Uh, another thing that you need to understand in order to grow in faith is that uh, we grow by giving. Yes, we grow by giving. See, looking outward and helping other people means it is to change our priority with our pocket money. It is like we start looking at how we spend our money and deciding voluntarily to separate that money and to give to a kingdom purposes. If you are pursuing for God, then you should start giving in your local churches. If it is a godly church, if it is helping to make disciples, if it is a helping church. And you should also develop or cultivate a habit of 
uh, giving in a regular basis. That is what even uh, Saint Paul or Apostle Paul says to Corinthian churches in Second Corinthians chapter eight verse seven. Let me read for you. Here he says, "But just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in your love for us, see that you also excel in the grace of giving." See, apparently the church of uh, Corinth two thousand years ago. And they were really good in other things, but they were not really good in giving. So don't forget, even if you are a brand new believer, you know, begin to discipline your life of giving financially to your local church. And here is the third truth to grow, and that is we grow by mentoring other. Yes, we grow by mentoring other. You may become uh, you may just become Christian last week and now you are hearing me saying that eventually you need to uh, mentor someone else. Yes, that is what Jesus envisioned it. You know, don't forget Jesus called a bunch of fishermen and said to them that come and follow me and I'm gonna help you to change this world. And that what exactly happened. See, Jesus didn't call the smartest people of the world, no offense, but he called our regular people of the world to make an impact to the people in the world. See, uh, when I'm saying this, I'm not trying to bring down the value of training. Training is very much important. In order to become a disciple of Christ, we must go through a strict training. We, can also, we, sh we cannot forget or we should not forget that uh, the Jesus disciple, under the leadership of Jesus himself, they were trained and equipped very strictly. See, it is very much important to be trained. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that when God calls us, He don't call us by seeing our background. He don't call us by seeing our brain capacity. He don't call us by seeing our talent. He choose you and me, a regular people. He don't choose a talented people. He choose a empty people to make an impact to the people in this world. He choose you and me, a regular people. He choose fishermen regular people to make an impact to the people in this world only thing we need to do is that we need to have faith in god we need to walk with god we need to have an intimate relationship with god privately and when we walk with god you will find your life being impacting in other people's you know life in the world so what i'm trying to say is that no matter who you are, no matter where, what talent you have, if you are right with God, God can use you to impact to the people in the world. In Matthew 28 verse 18 to 19, Jesus said to his disciples that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. See here Jesus he was saying to his disciples that see you guys are the one who will go out and change the world and the way you do it is by personally helping somebody pursuing God. And that is what mentoring is all about. Yes, that is what mentoring is all about. See, if you look the whole nation of pursuing of God or intimacy then you will find it has become a circle. It started that we start a relationship with God. I started a relationship with God by trusting, by putting my trust in Jesus. And then I start disciplining my life so that my life will honor God. I lead to honor God. And then it's not just disciplining my lifestyle. It is also to go out and helping people, other people to know God. And that is all about pursuing of God or intimacy is. So I believe you have been blessed through this series and uh, if you have missed the first and second episode then you can uh, go down to the description and click to the link that has given below and I believe you have enjoyed. So I just want to say God bless you and grow more and more in Lord. That's all. In Jesus name I pray. Amen.